I'm going to rank every single dim sum, because why not? I grew up eating dim sum, so I've been eating this forever. This is by no means like the definitive dim sum ranking. This is just my opinion. You can watch or you cannot watch, whatever, right? I'm just ranking dim sum because I like dim sum and I've been eating it forever. And these are just my opinions. So without further ado, let's begin. That should, is it recording? I'm not sure if it's recording. Okay, it's recording. I think it's recording. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's recording. I, I hope it works. So I kind of already organized it. So dumplings and like regular dim sum items and then like more of the pan fried stuff, the buns, and then the desserts and random stuff. So let's begin. I'll be ranking it based off like the average, right? Cause there's obviously there's gonna be dim sum restaurants that are really, really good and dim sum restaurants that are really, really bad. And there might be like special varieties of specific dumplings that might get better or make it worse. I'll be ranking it based off like the, the iconic, like what you think when you hear the word, when you, when you hear that food item, what do you think? Right, I'll be ranking it based off of that. Not like if there's like a really good dumpling at one place, then that, then that, yeah. So like not necessarily a perfect one, but just like when you think of that dumpling or when you think that dim sum item, what do you think? I'll be ranking it on that. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so siumai or pork dumpling. This is, I do like siumai. Um, I would say, okay, so I guess, C is average, right? So I, so C is average. I would say I would put shrimp or I'd put pork dumpling at a B. There's a good texture to it. Um, but like, it's just the pork dumpling, right? There, there, it's, I wouldn't say it's like, move that away. I wouldn't say it's like, like really, really good, but like, I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied with a uh, pork dumpling. Right, it, it, yeah, I'd be satisfied with a pork dumpling, but I'd put in B. Remember, <laughs> B is not bad. This is not Asian standard. This B B is just above average, and then C is like completely average. This also depends on whether or not the shrimp, right? So there are places that don't have shrimp and only have pork in it, and there are places that put shrimp. I would say either or. I'd still put in a B. Hmm. I'm also assuming there's no, um, like I'm not putting hot sauce or I'm not putting any type of like condiments on it. So I would put sumai at a solid B, just like above average, but like I wouldn't drool or crave it a lot, right? Then sh uh, shrimp dumpling or hagao. Let's see, for shrimp dumpling, I really like the skin, like this type of skin for the dumplings. I think it's really fun to eat and also it looks really pretty. So I really do like the skin of the dumpling for shrimp dumpling and all the other ones that look like that. Um, and then it kind of depends on the texture, right? If it's only shrimp, then I'd say it's probably a B, but then usually, right? There's either some type of water chestnut or there's uh, green chive and then there is, um, there's bamboo shoots. And when there's bamboo shoots or like water chestnut and it has that added texture to it, I'd say it goes to an A. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably put an A. Um, B fall or ayokao people my <laughs> this depends right so like again if i'm not basing it off of like all the crappy ones i've been to where they just have a crap ton of cornstarch the iconic beef ball like that like the average beef ball i would say i do like it probably a b um do i like it more than average yeah i'd say i'd give it a b um because it comes with ketchup or it comes with a worcestershire worcestershire sauce um, I'm gonna include that in my ranking because it actually it, it comes with the sauce. So then with the B, I would also put this at a. I'd say I put it above. I'd, I'd put it above Sumai, but then below Hagao. So I'd, I'd probably I put it at a B. That makes sense. That makes sense. Spare rib or pie quet. So if you've never had dim sum spare rib, this is like the I I think this is like the 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 best way to eat spare rib or just ribs in general, like. They um they velvet it so they use cornstarch and then some, I think they use baking soda too and it makes the meat really like plump and really juicy and it's also like slightly spicy because they put um jalapenos or some type of pepper in it and there's also like a really nice umami flavor to it because they add the fermented black bean so I would actually put this I would actually put this above a so by now I'm probably getting hella haters just like why would you how do you put siu under all those things so the thing about siu is like it, it 
it's kind of just a block of meat and like some like msg right whereas like these two like beef ball and then like the aoyokao they have like their own like sauce in it right like beef ball and the sparib sparib is like it had, like the flavor of sparib is like it's to the ho ho or like it's like they flavored the spare rib really well and then the texture is really really nice and also the bone the bone is usually so soft and then you kind of chew on it and then all the juices like are absorbed in the bone marrow and you kind of chew on that and that's also really really good i might actually put this Ooh, did i put an s rank i might put an s rank actually because 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 there's a dish that is just um spare rib rice right and it's so iconic when you go to a chinese to go place and then you it's basically just spare rice it's a bowl of rice and usually it's in like a really like ugly metal container and then uh, there's like the spare bone top and then they'll put one single uh uh chicken foot on top on next to it and that that, I, that was my childhood so i remember go every weekend i'd go with my grandparents and then i'd eat that with my grandpa and that was like my the happiest day of my life like every single week was just the happiest day of my life so spare rib, I'd probably, I'd put an S. In that same vein, we have chicken feet. Again, the flavoring, it's basically the same exact flavoring as the spare rib. I think I just like this flavoring a lot. It's the fermented bean, or fermented soybean. It's the it's the spiciness to it. Uh, chicken feet, if you've never had it, it's really, really good. It's really fun to eat. So what they do is the chicken foot, right? First, they fry it. And then when they fry it, the skin and the meat kind of like falls off the bone. So like... It's really like it kind of detaches from the bone and then they steam it again with the added flavoring and like it might look bad but there's so much cartilage I, I i love like i love cartilage i love like the collagen texture of it i love the flavoring it's fun to eat and don't hit on don't hit on chicken feet okay i have a i have a story i lived next to a uh, elderly white couple and then uh, we treated them to dim sum, right? The first time we went together, uh, they looked. We ordered chicken feet, and they, like they were both like de like disgusted, right? Like, what is that, right? But then the the wife of the couple, right? There was just an older couple. So then the the woman, she saw me eating it with so much joy. She's like, "Damn, that kid is enjoying it so much. It's gotta be good." So then she tried it, and she absolutely loves chicken feet now. So like. I don't know if that's a testament to whether or not you should try chicken feet, but I believe that you should definitely try chicken feet. It's so good. I'd put this above spare rib just because the texture, it's fun to eat. It might look weird, but then like, it's just fun to eat. It's it's so fragrant. It's it's delicious. Fish ball or Lan Yu Kao. Um, I'd say I do like Lan Yu Kao recent, but like, I would say it's, where to put it? Hmm. Then you call is good. I actually like the soup more because there's a watercress in here, and I actually prefer the watercress next to the then you call or like next to the fish ball more. Same thing with beef ball. I actually like the 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 um bean curd that's under the the oil call. If you zoom in, there's like some bean curd under it. That's really good. I actually prefer that more than the actual dumpling itself. Same thing with the fish ball. Um, I would say I like this more than siu mai too. <laughs> right now anyone that likes pork dumpling would probably like like be raging their ass off right now but i do prefer mm, yeah I, I yeah definitely i just that's also more springy right like um you can like i could eat like maybe like two or three of these if i really if i really wanted to whereas like siu mai i'd probably like I think that one is definitely enough i'd be i'd be totally com like content with just eating one next thing this is tiu chao dumpling or tu zao feng guo in Chinese or in Cantonese. And if you don't know what this is, it's the same wrapper as the shrimp dumpling, but then inside, instead of being shrimp, there is ground pork, uh, celery, water chestnut, peanuts, um, sometimes there's jicama, and then it's all like, it has, a, it's like a soy flavor, like soy based flavoring that it's uh, cooked with. And this is actually really fun to eat. Just there's so many textures in it. And like, if you really like crunchy stuff, then you would definitely, I would definitely recommend this. This peanuts, crunchy, celery, crunchy, water chestnut or jicama, crunchy, right? And like, it's really umami. So like, you don't even need to flavor it because there's so much flavor in this already. So I would probably put this, mm, I also really like the skin, right? It's the same thing with the skin. I do like the skin a lot. 
if you didn't, as I said before, I'm really into texture, right? Like, Shrimp Dumpling would be a B if it weren't for the bamboo shoots or the um, water chestnut inside. This, again, texture. Mm, but it, I, uh, the meat, it's just the ground pork, I guess, isn't as fun to eat as like snappy shrimp. So I'd probably put this low A or high B. I'd probably put this, mm, probably put this A just because I really like the wrapper. Next thing. Ooh, chive dumpling. This is pan fried chive dumpling or gao choy gao. Gao choy gao is really good. Ooh, this is so fragrant. And then inside, it's so it's the same dumpling as um, it's the same wrapper as again these two things, but then this. So this is a chive dumpling, right? So it's obviously the chive inside, and there will be either be the really cheap places won't have any meat, and those are the that would be like that'd be F tier, okay? And then otherwise, other places will either have pork in it, or it'll have shrimp in it. Shrimp again because of the snappiness would put that in an A. I'd probably put that behind. Uh, I'd probably put that in front of chiu chao uh, dumpling or chiu zao feng gao. And it's also pan fried, right? And that the pan fried, oh, actually because it's pan fried, because it's pan fried, they have like a steamed version, which isn't as fun to eat, but pan fried, when you pan fry this skin, this dumpling skin, it makes it like super crispy. And also so, like, it's just, it just so like, the texture is so nice. So I'd probably put that above a uh, shrimp dumpling if this will let me. Yeah, so I put this above here just because it's pan fried and also like, again, it's like a difference in texture, right? Heterogeneity. Shout out to Adam Ragusea. But like the skin, when it's it's like slightly crispy and then the inside it's just chive and shrimp or such or uh, pork. So like it feels different. But I, th I think just because the outside it's pan fried. Yeah, I'd, I'd say just because <laughs> If these two things were, if one of these two things were pan fried, this might change. But because this is pan fried, and usually it's pan fried, I'd put this above shrimp dumpling. <laughs> Everyone probably hates me. <laughs> Next, vegetarian uh, bean curd roll, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what the actual name is. I think it's like some type. It's a it's uh, sinzo green in Chinese or in Cantonese. This is basically a spring roll, right? Like a normal egg roll, but instead of it being a, a one ton wrapper, it's a bean curd sheet and then they wrap the fillings instead of using the one ton wrapper they use that and so the inside will be the same thing so sometimes there's celery but usually it's just woodier um sometimes there's cucumber carrots jicama or water chestnut um sometimes there's chicken but then usually it's vegetarian and then they deep fry that and then they steam it with like an abalone sauce and this is so good there's a <clears throat> but the problem is it's only good at like two or three restaurants that I've been to and the overwhelming majority of the places that serve this place, it looks so bad. It's so shit. There's like nothing inside. So I'm gonna put this at C just because of how often this is bad. So if you're if you're like at a new restaurant and you're trying this out and you want to try like what they have, if you can, if you can look at it first, <laughs> look at it to see whether or not it's like plump. Otherwise, it looks like a turd. And it's just, it's just really sad when I eat it. So I'm gonna put this at C, just, yeah, even though this is probably one of my favorite dim sum items. Sticky rice. Chicken sticky rice or um, lo mai gai. This, mm. I think I put this in S tier too. So this is basically just a sticky rice ball. So you get your sticky rice, right? So imagine like a, Ch a Japanese onigiri. So you get your sticky rice and then you put in salted egg yolk, you put in chicken and you put in like a Chinese lap chong, which is like a Chinese preserved sausage and then you wrap that up and then you steam it with the I think this is lotus leaf and this is so like there's the rice is really flavored well and like you get the fragrance from the leaf and it, this is so good I have I have to put this at S tier I really like salted egg and like salted egg this this is like so good so I mm, what where do I put it I might actually put this I think I might put that. The only problem with this is if you eat this, you'll be too full to eat anything else. <laughs> this this alone is like maybe like ha like a third of your entire meal because it, it's just really filling. I, mm, I'll put it here for now because like this is also really hard to mess up unless they only give you rice. So I'd say like this is like these three things 
are very hard to mess up. Like it's it's hard to be skimpy with these three things. Uh, if you had to bet what foods would be good at a restaurant, you'd put your money on these three things. I really like this. Ooh, I haven't had it in a while, but I remember like growing up because it was easy, right? My parents would just buy bags of them, just throw them in the freezer. And for lunch, they just take one out and be like, all right, just microwave this when you get to school or like, all right, here you go. Let's just microwave it and then we'll eat that. <laughs> my sister, <laughs> it happened so much. My sister got hella sick of it. And she, so she hates this, but like, I still, I, I'm really fond of this still. Okay. Next. What is that? That is a, oh, okay. Okay. This is a barbecue pork puff. It's Chinese puff pastry, which is instead of using butter, they use lard. Um, I do not like this at all. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate this. Every time I had it, it just feels like greasy. I always get headaches after eating it. There's like barely any meat inside. And I just feel like, why would anyone buy this? I do not like this at all. Maybe someone else does, but I do not like tasu so, which is the Chinese name, or barbecue pork buff. Ugh. I, I, I hate this so much. I, I don't know why. Okay, so now we're on churn fun or uh, rice wraps. So these are just, so there's gonna be a bunch, right? I have like one, two, three, four, five, six. So these, honestly, it depends on what, what's inside, but it's either like the iconic two are these two, right? So shrimp and then beef. Those are the ones you'll see at most restaurants. And then a lot of restaurants won't have uh, one of these four, but then these two are the most iconic, shrimp and beef. Uh, a lot of people really like these. I mean, I think they're, I, like, I wouldn't be mad eating it. Um, so let's just go over shrimp first. So shrimp, I wouldn't be mad eating it, but I'd say it's like, it's kind of just sustenance. It, it's it's nice when it's snappy. Um, it can be fragrant, but I mean like, it's I it's just shrimp wrapped in rice noodles. So like, I'd say that's like the mid of the mid. Um, at least, and then there's like, I guess if the shrimp is snappy, it'd be better. But like, I mean, it's just kind of just, it's just food. Beef rice noodle or uh, ayok oh, churn. This i do not like this one this i'd, I'd, I'd say like I, I i'd eat it but i'd be like there's better things so this one um it's not just beef it's like it's really soft mushy beef and they'll put cilantro and they'll put um water chestnut or jicama inside of it to have like a little bit of crunch but i mean like i don't know i i don't care for it at all i think this is what is this so this is a uh, dried shrimp rice roll or dried shrimp rice noodle uh how my turn they get basically dried shrimp the really small ones which are usually used for like soup and it's like super umami and they'll put dried shrimp green onion cilantro and it's like it's it's good but it th th this is like there's something in chinese called tam ho tam bei which is kind of like when you eat something sharp and it kind of just like pokes your mouth and you're like it's it's uncomfortable and it's just like annoying to eat or not really annoying to eat but just like not pleasant to eat and that's what i feel like this is so i put this like below average like i'll eat it but i mean like if it's not there i won't be disappointed toss you turn this is a uh, barbecue pork rice noodle this i feel even worse like this one i just don't like i i i like it more than toss you so this is trash but like this is like I don't know, man. I think the flavor of the of the barbecue pork doesn't meld with the sauce or like, and this is like when I said like this is uh, uncomfortable to eat or like unpleasant to eat because like the textures. This is like that times fifteen. So I this I do not like at all. Um, this is, uh, ooh, this is a uh, the Chinese donut, uh, yao zai or yao tiu, wrapped in rice noodle. I actually really like this. Sometimes they even put like, they hollow out the, the Chinese donut and they'll put like shrimp paste in it. And that's really, really good. This I could get behind. I think, I don't know what it is, but like the texture is much better. And like, and this is, it's something different. I'd put this at like a, I'd put this at like a low A. Probably like a low A, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, what is this tier list? This makes no sense. This is my opinion and you can you can deal with it yourself. Um if they, if your restaurant has it, I'd say definitely like this is something you can try out. Uh I actually might put this cuz it's like so the inside the donut, right? It's crispy. So like there's that texture difference to it, right? So like bits of it are still crispy and then some parts that are like drenched in the soy sauce that are like uh, kind of soggy. That's like so there's like a difference in texture and it's not like these two things where it's like when you eat it it feels like something's stabbing your nose. 
out with this. I might actually, I actually really like this, especially with the hoisting sauce and, or especially with the sauce that it's come, it comes with. Mm, I might put this high, high A. Would I get hated on? I like it. Like, you don't have to only eat protein. I eat enough protein. <laughs> Leave me alone. This is good. And then this, this is, this is garbage. This, this, this is just cilantro. This is green onion, or this is rice. This is rice noodle with just cilantro. This is, this is, if there's, if there's a tier below this, I do like it more than that. So, okay, this is, this is like the garble garble, but like this, I just really do not like. If this, if this wasn't like, if this was like FF tier, this would be here. But yeah, I do not like this. This is just so boring. I like it more than that. This is just annoying to eat. But this is just like, it's just noodle with soy sauce. Like, why, why are we even paying for this? Ugh, people that order that, disgusting. Anyways, next. So this is hamster gold, or I guess savory meat mochi dumpling. So this is basically just a deep fried mochi with meat inside. And this is, this is good when it's done right, but oftentimes it's really oily and it's like, like the inside, there's not that much stuff to it. I put this at a, I'd put this at a, I don't really like, it just, it's just always oily. Like I've, I've, I've had like one restaurant where it was like pretty good, but like it's just always oily. It's definitely, I'd say it's better than ao yolk churn or better than beef uh, rice noodle. That's meh. If you think of like the ideal version of it, it's really good, but it's just always so oily. It just, you just feel disgusting eating it. There's oftentimes like not enough sauce and stuff. Nah. Now this, ooh, okay. You know my old white neighbor that I talked about? This is her favorite, like her favorite, favorite, favorite. This is a wugo or a taro croquette. And it's basically just this meat dumpling, but instead of that having like the mochi outside, they they wrap it with like a like a taro paste, and then they deep fry it, and like they have these like it looks really pretty. I'll make it bigger on like in editing, but it looks really pretty, and if you really like, and it's really fragrant because of the taro, and the inside is like, yeah, it's basically just a instead of a potato croquette, it's a taro croquette. This one they actually cook really well, like compared to this thing for some reason. It might soak a lot of oil, but like I don't really feel it. And this I might put it. Mm, so wugo or taro croquette. I'd put it. I'd put it here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably put it here. I do. It does. The, mm, yeah, I'd put it here. It's just really fragrant from the taro filling. It's just super umami inside and like the outside is super fragrant. So like the mix of two and then also like they have the like crispy little strands outside. The difference in texture, the the differing taste that you have in it, it's just like an adventure to eat. So I'm actually, yeah, I put this here. Um, so it's really good. It's a really good treat. And yeah, it, it, I don't know what else to say. This is, um, I don't even know the Chinese name. I've never ordered this. This is a shrimp, it's deep fried shrimp dumpling. I'd probably put this S tier if I had it before, <laughs> but I've never had it. It's also like unhealthy, so then my parents never really order it that much. I mean, obviously like these things, this isn't that healthy and like that's not that healthy, that's not that healthy, that's not that healthy, but like this, I just never ordered. I don't know. I, this looks like, I wonder, okay, that, that's radish cake or lobako. Ooh, pan fried lobako. Dude, okay, it sounds disgusting, radish cake. It sounds disgusting, right? <laughs> my, my that neighbor I talked about earlier, right? Same neighbor. She ate the chicken feet, but then when she heard radish cake, she's like, she that's where she drew the line. She's like, radish cake just sounds stupid. And I'm not eating radish cake. This is like really umami. We eat this during New Year's often. It's a rice cake, but it's not mochi, right? So it's it's like, it's not chewy. It's just rice cake. Inside it will be a lot of like savory like umami bombs. So there'd be mushrooms, there's preserved Chinese uh, sausage, preserved Chinese meat, a lot of white pepper in it. And like, I, I maybe I just really, really like white pepper, but like I'm putting that S tier. I might, ooh, a, a really good lobako, that can be like all the way up here. But like, I guess average, even, even average, I might put that. Oh. Uh, do I want that there? No. Yeah, I'd probably put that here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. And also, like, so it has that mirrored reaction because it's pan fried, right? You see the you see the golden crispiness, and like, there's so much umami, and it's like, it's like slightly sweet from the radish. The radish is so good. Ooh, 
Ooh, I like it so much. Okay, and then taro cake. Taro cake is the same thing, but with taro. <laughs> I don't know what else, uh, it's just wutao goat. So same thing as radish cake, but with taro. Um, if you care for, if you really care for texture, this, you might like this one more. Um, it's less sweet, but it's more fragrant. So radish has like a more sweetness to it. Whereas uh, taro is more like just fragrant. Um, it's really, this is really, really starchy. Like if you, if you like get full really easily or um, you just don't handle starch that well, I'd say you'd probably like, this is not what you'd get. You'd get the radish cake. But it is really fragrant from the taro, from the mirrored reaction, uh, from like pan frying it. I'll put this A tier. Probably, I actually like this more than the taro dumpling. It just, it just feels lighter. It's not as heavy as just a deep fried, like, croquette. I actually put this, I'll put this here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is like, these two I both, I, if you've never had it before, it sounds weird. I know taro cake. Radish cake, it sounds weird, but it tastes so good. Okay, and now I guess we're on the buns. Steamed barbecue pork bun or zing ta bao. This one, this one, okay. So you might be asking, so he doesn't like barbecue, it, do it doesn't look like he likes barbecue pork. Wrong, I love barbecue pork. Just not in those cases. These two, I just absolutely hate. I think, I don't know what it is. This, definitely S tier. S tier, S, uh s tier and then because i feel like it's really hard like i haven't really seen that many chinese places mess up just steamed buns so because of that i'm gonna put that like hmm a bun, pro, yeah uh, yeah because this the flavor the, the filling inside it's sweet it's umami it's it's protein <laughs> and the outside i just really like a fluffy bun and the bun is so fluffy it's actually made differently from a lot of buns. This one they use like a special type of like an ammonia some some something something, which in Chinese it directly translates to smelly powder, <laughs> like stinky powder. But this is like it has like a different like feel to it. And it's super fluffy. I absolutely love this type of bread. Absolutely delicious. But is it? Yeah, I just really like bread. I think I think that's it. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the is happening? I just really like bread. And like this tansu bao, I, want, I I love it. Baked barbecue pork bun. This is really really good. But like so so steamed, right? You feel you feel warm and you feel like you're, you feel comfort inside. And you're just like ah, it feels so nice eating like a, biting into like a warm fluffy tansu bao or barbecue pork bun. This makes you really happy. This is more like a like a really like uh, chewy dough. But it's still really soft. It's supposed to be really airy and soft, very buttery. And the top, they will glaze with honey. So it's like really, it's like sweet. It's crispy often. It's it's umami. It tastes so good. I I definitely put this. But like I get okay, never mind. But average, I'd say like average. Like like if you just go to any other any random restaurant, it might not be that good because they the, the the dough might be dry. You might have really sh crappy like sh filling to bread ratio. On average, I'd say this is definitely here. Here, for me again. <laughs> I just these two textures and like the the greasiness of this one, especially this one. If if I could put this down here, it would be down there. But like this is the the worst of the worst. Freaking barbecue pork pastry, disgusting. And then like this one is just like the texture is weird, right? If I wanted. Barbecue pork noodle, I'd get a bowl of barbecue pork noodle. I don't want it wrapped in just noodle. But this one is like, I, I think what it is is when it's steamed this way, the barbecue pork is soft, right? When it's steamed, it's soft. This thing, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's still hard. This one, it's hard and it's oily and it's ugh, <laughs> disgusting. But this one, I'd probably put this... See, a lot of times they skimp, right? They skimp on the barbecue pork. So maybe I'll probably put this here. Yeah. And then these two are two different, two more types of barbecue pork bun. This one is called a crispy barbecue pork bun. And this one goes right there. It's basically just this, but then the outside is extra crispy. And that makes it more fun. More fun to eat. This one is, again, barbecue pork bun. But <laughs> the outside, there's like a, there's like a sugar crumb on, on top. That's kind of flaky, but also kind of feels kind of weird. 
and it makes your mouth kind of dry. So I'd probably put this like down here, just because I don't like the outside. Uh, and like I've I've never really had like a really good one. So I think average is still like probably but mm. yeah. I guess because it ruins <laughs> what I like so much, because it ruins it that much. This should probably go like down here. So I'll probably put this. Eh, it's better than. I guess it's better than that. Yeah, I'll put it down here. Okay, we'll do this one first. This one is lava bread or um, salted egg bun. Or in Chinese, it's lao sa bao. This is so good. Oh my. You, you think you know custard, right? Okay, so okay, let's, let's do freaking custard first. Custard? I, it's a custard bun. Everyone knows what a custard bun is, right? It's basically just like, it, it's just custard in bun, right? That that tastes delicious. Honestly, it tastes delicious. I'd probably put that, I mean, like, desserts just taste delicious. I'd probably put that over here. Yeah. This is fine. This is, this is great, right? Tastes delicious. It can't hurt. Like, who, who doesn't like eggy, sweet, custard, wrapped in soft, pillowy bun? This. 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 Your mind, if you never had salted egg lava bun, your mind will be blown. So basically what it is, is so they mix it with butter and then they, they add some like milk, uh, some evaporated milk. And basically it's still hard when they wrap it in the bun. And then when you steam it, it melts. So it's kind of like a soup dumpling where like it's just a bun. And then inside it's like lava, like hot lava, like super fragrant. It has that bit of umami, but super sweet and delicious and oh my god this is like there <laughs> i just really like bread and my god if you never had salted egg buns you are missing out bigly this is so good i i it might be tied for first right now between just the steamed barbecue pork bun and the uh, salted egg lava bun, but this is so good. Like salted egg goes in so many things, and then you thought it. You you thought that was it. You that wasn't even its final form. This is a bowl of lao sao bao or a salted egg pineapple bun. My favorite bun is a bolo about from a specific location. I had it in a different video, but that is like the best bun of all buns. This, and then they put salted egg in it. And like, oh my God, it's, oh my God. It's like buttery, it's sweet. It's like slightly umami and like really, really fragrant. It's pillowy and soft. And it has that little crispy texture difference to it. This would go S, 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 S tier. S, S tier. I have a really big sweet tooth if you didn't realize. <laughs> and I don't get to eat it that often. So <laughs> let me enjoy my sweets vicariously, please. And then this is just the red bean bun. I mean, <laughs> red bean bun, it tastes good. I absolutely love it. The best red bean bun I ever had was at a department store, like a mall in Korea. That was really, really good. But like at a normal dim sum restaurant, I'd say this is like, you, you could do without it. Honestly, it's like, it's like, straight up average like i mean yeah the pillowy bun will be nice but like it's mid you could there's so many other things like you can get this anywhere you can get this at a korean restaurant you can get this at a japanese restaurant you can get this at a do 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 latinos do red i mean they do red bean but like you, you can get this anywhere this is meh you, you can skip this out this is usually i've only really seen at chinese bakeries and dim sum restaurants we're gonna do this bun this is a pan fried bun or sansing bao. It's a pork and veggie bread and they pan fry it. And then there's two different types. One that's just like a dry version and then another one where it's basically like a shalong bao or a soup dumpling inside and then you bite into it and that's really, that that is also SS tier. But then this one looks like a dry one. So then this one I will put at, so again inside it's just, it's usually cabbage and pork and there's like really peppery, so they put like the white pepper in it. And this is really good too. I would actually put this above tossu bao, mm, above that. Again, I really like buns, but the problem with this one is the bread is usually more dry. Because it's more dry, probably, yeah, it, does, it doesn't get like up to there, but I'd say, I'd say this is, a, probably here. This is a good spot. That's a good spot for sanzin bao. 
Okay, this is taking, I'm almost at an hour. <laughs> Next thing, this is a Chinese sausage roll or lap churn green. This is uh, really, really good too. Uh, again, so so this is like the flavor is really, really good. And the, the bun is, this bread is usually a little bit harder because it's like, it's not really as fluffy. It's more like chewy, which is good. But this is the same problem as, or like these two things, right? Where it's like, the Chinese lap chong or Chinese uh, preserved sausage, it's really hard. Like when you get like a bacon burger, right? And you bite into it and you you eat it and like the bacon all comes out, but then you, you have the rest of your burger. That's kind of the problem with this. It's kind of hard to bite it down like and like cut it so that you don't just rip out the entire thing. The flavor is really good. Um, and like the bread is different enough to like really like it. I'd put this a I definitely put this above. I really like bread again, so I'd probably put this up here. Um, it looks kind of funky. It's like a Chinese hot dog, but like a preserved Chinese hot dog. I actually might put this up here. So it'd be higher if it weren't so hard. Like it didn't have that like the texture thing where like you just rip it out. But it is really good. It's really fragrant. Like there's a slight sweetness to the bun. It's like chewy. It's I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I definitely put this over here. <laughs> I, I, that's my only reasoning. I have no idea how to explain. Um, What's next? We'll do... Okay, this is... This is uh, black sesame mochi or long white tea. I don't like the graininess of black sesame paste thing inside inside a lot of dim sum things. So this one, I'm going to put this... I'm putting this... It's better than that. It's better than bland rice noodle with cilantro. It's better than cilantro poop. Yeah, so I'm about the, I, I don't really care for it. The outside, it's like peanut shavings and like maybe sometimes coconut shavings. It's like, it can be soft, but like, I, I don't care for black sesame paste inside my pastries. It Usually it's just so grainy and just like off-putting. Um, and I guess I could just, I can throw this out there too. This is, this is uh, almond ball. So you know how there's a sesame ball? This is almond ball, and then almond ball usually has the same black sesame filling inside, so I'm gonna put this over here as well. Eh, honestly, I actually don't like the mochi uh, skin that much either, so I'm a, eh, it's, it's, it's better than that. So, I, yeah, I, I don't, it's always grainy, right? Give me a, bring me to a place where it's creamy and it's not grainy, and I'm like, dum, 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 I'm not like that after eating it, and I'll like it maybe. But like, otherwise it's just too grainy. It, it, it's not, it, it doesn't, I don't really care for it. This is, this is a green tea version of the same thing. <laughs> so this also over here, but this one doesn't even have the texture feel of the almonds outside. So this one goes here. I don't even really taste the green tea. Green tea, black sesame mochi, meh. Sometimes it looks like a pear, and when it looks like a pear, that might bring it up some. But then this is just, it's just a circle here. Meh. Um, I need, I need to hurry up. Eesh. This is yarn sambo, or just yarn anything, which is basically just shrimp paste on top of a variety of things, right? So it's, um, so there's multiple types. So there's shrimp paste on top of eggplant, shrimp paste on top of fried tofu, shrimp paste on top of mushrooms, and then shrimp paste on top of uh, peppers and um, bell peppers. So this one, I should have split into multiple, but then um, I'm taking so long. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna tell you, if it's a green pepper, or like if it's a bell pepper, or if it's a jalapeno, it goes up here. If it is a mushroom, somewhere here. If it is a eggplant, somewhere here. If it's fried tofu, uh, somewhere here. And then if it is, what was the last one? I think I think I said everything. I, in total, I guess like on average of all five of the different forms, probably be right there. Yeah. So I definitely recommend. I just remember when I was little, my grandpa always ordered the the bell pepper one because he couldn't eat the spicy one, and that was those are just cherished memories I have. I know it's probably like not a good reasoning, but like that would be S tier. But then like the other ones, I'd say like a low A is fine. This one, beef awful. <laughs> uh, this I love. I love, 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 love. So 
The problem with all the other ones is because of my original condition that these things did not have any other sauce unless it came with it specifically. There's no hoisin sauce, there's no hot sauce, there's no mustard, whatever, right? This is like, it's cooked in, it's like stewed. So like it, it already has hella flavor. It's also really peppery and it it's really fun. I'm, I really care for texture. So like all like the, like the tendon, the tripe, the, the, the I don't know what it's called, the black thing, the, the black dark thingy, that's really fun to eat. The, 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 the radish is really good. This would go. See, but I can't eat too much of it. Where like I feel like this is this is really comforting and warm. Probably put this over here. Probably put this over here. So good. So like, it, it looks disgusting again because it's just it's just like a bunch of just like organ meat. But it's really good. I definitely give it a try. It's basically just Chinese um, menudo, but not really, but kind of. I'll do this one first. This is just the steamed uh, beef tripe. So this is obai. And this is just steamed tripe. This is really good, also fun to eat. There's not too much to write home about, I guess. Like objectively, I'd say it's like really kind of almost boring, but I do like eating it. It's fun to eat. Um, sometimes it's really bland because sometimes it's just, it's just straight up just boiled, whereas other times they'll put flavoring in it. I'll put this at like a, for me though, I'll put this at like a, like, like a high C, like, like maybe like a, like a above average, but like barely for like anyone that's just starting out and trying dim sum items. I'd say that this is like, this is like, yeah, probably this is a low B, like above average. I'll eat it often. And like people, it's really hard to mess up just boiling stuff. I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay. Um, this, Ooh, this is, this is really good. <laughs> this is pig blood or ju hong. I love ju hong. Especially I love eating the chive and the, I don't know what it's stewed in, but like that that sauce is also really gloopy and really yummy. And sometimes they'll put uh, chicharron in it or like pig skin. And that's also really, really good. This I have to put, this one, ooh, I have to put this up here. I might, hmm, is it better than, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's better than that. The chicharron itself is really good. Um, but then the, the, it's just fun to eat. <laughs> Pig blood, I has to go. Pig blood would have to go here. Where where does pig blood go? I definitely like I like that stuff more. Yeah, I'll put it. Uh, no, okay. Well, I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Like really high A. Well, I'll put it here. If we can go yeah, right there, put it right here. Like it it kind of feels like it's like pig jello or like blood jello. It's kind of fun. It's really fun to eat. I think that's the main thing. The, the pig blood itself often doesn't taste like anything. It's just like a block of stuff. But like the chive is really good. The sauce is really good. But like if you put that with rice, ooh, that's so good. Okay, I think I'm finally done with like mainly desserts now. So then I'll try to rapid fire through this. Sesame ball. Everyone knows sesame ball. Um, again, so sesame ball is good. I don't really care for it that much because I really care for, I really like the paste. So if it's like, if there's a lot of red bean paste, I'll eat the red bean paste. But then fried mochi balls, I really don't care that much for. So I'll put this at like a good solid. That's probably better than most of these places. This is my, like my favorite dim sum item, but most places do it complete trash. So I'll put this over here. <laughs> I'll put this over here. Yeah, that makes sense. This one is Teen Sun Go or Thousand Layer uh, Cake. It's basically just an egg yolk, like, almost like a crepe cake, but not really. I don't know how to describe it. I, I I feel like I only ever had this like once or like twice maybe in my entire life. It's good, it's fragrant. Um, I'd say it's probably, probably a good, from what I remember, it doesn't, it's not, it's not better than that. Uh, probably better than this stuff. Yeah, I'd probably put it there. From what I remember, it's like really fragrant, but it's also really heavy, right? So like, I could definitely do it without it. I have, I've done without it for the past like 27 years of my life. So I, eh, meh, <laughs> meh. It's I right. Okay. Okay, I, I, I tart. Don tot. I mean, if you knew what the, the, it's brother, you, this is, this is meh. This, this is like below. This is, this is so overhyped. I think just because of how overhyped it is, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it here. Like, uh, yeah, I'm putting it here. And also, like, dim sum restaurants never do it well. It's always, like, really shit. 
dim sum restaurants. Like maybe if you go to a bakery, it'll be higher. But like just at a dim sum restaurant, like I don't think I've ever had a good one at a dim sum restaurant. So this this goes here. I I might put it. Yeah, yeah, it's better than that. Better than this stuff. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Nah, 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 nah. I, mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Egg tart D tier. Cause you don't you don't know its brother. You don't know the potential. You don't know. It, it has a brother that tastes so good, but they don't have it at most. No, I don't think any dim sum restaurant really has that. Maybe like one or two specialties, but like the the brother of the egg tart is so, so good. So this pales in comparison, D tier. We'll say, okay, this is batonko or sugar cake, <laughs> white sugar cake. This is actually, it's a cold um, dessert and it's like really sweet, but it's like fragrant. It's like so Chinese has a word called like ting team, refreshing sweet, right? It's really refreshing. Like after you're eating like all this greasy stuff and all this like oily, greasy, fatty stuff, this is like, it's a really nice like palate cleanser. And it's like, it's cool. It, it has a nice texture to it. It's really fun to eat. I haven't eaten this in a while. I, it's pretty easy to make too. So like, if you have, like, I can try to post a recipe if you want one, but like this is, this, I'd say this is pretty damn good. I think this, mm, Definitely above a sesame ball. Oh wait, why, why is sesame? Okay, sesame ball does not. Mm, red bean bun, I really like red bean bun, so I'm gonna put that over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it right there. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> this I will put in B tier. Uh, maybe put an A tier. I, I just really like sweets. Probably above a custard bun, but below this. That makes sense. Ooh, this should go. Uh, yeah, this could go there. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly. Custard bun. Okay, custard bun is kind of boring, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to put this back down here. Right below. Because it's average, right? It's just a custard bun. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it's just a custard bun. Whatever. Who cares? And this I'll put up here. Just because I feel bad for putting... Red bean is my... <laughs> Everything's my favorite. But red bean is like one of my favorite things. So this one has to go... Wait, what is there? But like custard bun, it's, it's the custard bun. Whatever. Who cares? Um, okay. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because custard, they, these are usually, eh, just put it here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, next thing. Malaygo or um, Malaysian cakes, Malaysian sponge cake. This actually, re this is actually really fun to make too. So what they do is they put extra, they put, it's cooked with molasses and they put a lot of baking soda in it. So that makes it super chewy. So actually it looks like kind of small. It's really, it's big, right? But it looks like you could eat it easily, but like, don't put too much in your mouth at the same time because it is hard to eat because it's so chewy. It's like super, super chewy, but it's so fun to eat because of how chewy it is. I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to put this. Oh, where does it, Where does this go? This goes like right, right there, I think. I think this goes right there. I haven't had it in a while, but like it's really fragrant because of just the molasses, the fragrance of the molasses. And like, it's super chewy, so it's fun to eat. Just be careful. I feel like this should be a choking hazard. So like, don't eat it too fast. Eat small bites and you'll be fine. Next thing, this. This is a sugary egg puff. Um, it's basically just, it's a, honestly, so you know the Chinese, what people, people call a Chinese donut? You can't call that a donut, okay? Yao zha guai is not a donut. Yao tiu is not a donut. It's not sweet. This is sweet. This should be called, this should be a Chinese donut. And this honestly is the worst donut I've ever had. Uh, better than better than better than that stuff. <laughs> no, it isn't. Never mind. This is like the worst donut I've ever had. I do not like. It's like really eggy. My opinion. My opinion. Don't hate me. My opinion. It's like really eggy. I don't know what it is. It's just it's just too eggy for me. It just it just tastes so eggy. I don't know. I just don't like it. I just I just I just don't like it. Sue me. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't like I don't like it. Make it stop. But like I'm sure some people will like it. Like, like the idea is there, right? It, it sounds like it'd be good. It's fragrant, it's eggy, it's sugary, it's sweet. The idea is there. I just don't like it. I don't know. Tofu flour or tofu fa or tofu pudding, I guess. This is really good. Really, really like just simple. Makes you happy inside. Has like a slight like hint of ginger in it. Makes you feel like you're eating something healthy even though there's a lot of syrup in it. I'd put this like straight in the middle of B. Like you're happy eating it. But like it's not, it doesn't doesn't claim to do anymore. It just it just plain and simple, just simple Jane. It it just it tofu flour tastes good, refreshing, delicious. But it's just it's just it. it, it that's just that's just what it is. Still good. Durian puff. 
or Laolin. So I know durian is a touchy subject. Subject. A lot of people don't like durian. I understand. It smells bad. But like this, like when you when if you really like durian, I feel like this goes up here. This this is really like, I think like if you don't like durian, this is the best foray into enjoying or learning to eat durian because like it's so fragrant, it's sweet, and like also this is dependent on whether or not your restaurant is cheap because the normal restaurants will just use actual durian in it but then some cheap places they'll just put durian extract and like some other filler stuff inside so that it has to have real durian in it but because i feel like after it's deep fried it kind of the deep frying this kind of removes the stench of it and you're only left with a durian taste and it's so sweet it's so creamy it's crispy on the outside it looks really pretty sometimes they shape it in a goose or like a duck or something and that looks really pretty too and it's it just tastes good tastes delicious um i think this is a good spot for it really good like if you don't like durian or like you've tried it multiple times multiple times and you tried liking durian but you can't i feel like this is a great option just to really determine whether or not you like durian because if you don't like this then you don't like durian if you like this then you might like durian this is pot stickers <laughs> pot stickers is mm, okay so pot stickers i'd say it's not really <laughs> wall tape not really dirt not really dim sum but when i was little pot stickers were my favorite food ever so uh, just it's not dim sum i, I can't put it in nest here they dim sum restaurants do have it they do have pot stickers but whether or not i will get yelled at for putting it there fuck it i'll put it there i'll, I'll put it at the very end of s tier just so i don't get slapped too hard but pot stickers are so good. I, some places have it. I know it's just to appeal to foreigners. But when I was little, that was my sh**. And I loved it. And like, the, 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 it's so good. And like, I like the thickness of the wrapper too, right? Like, people like people always talk about, oh, oh, the wrapper is so thin. That's why I like it. Nah, dude. The wrapper is the best part of pot stickers. It's like crispy. It's savory. You know what this is? This is basically just a smaller version. Like a, like a, like a less carb heavy version of this. So it's less fluffy, but like the texture is there. It's chewy. I don't know if it's gluten or what, but like it's chewy. It's pan fried, so it's delicious. And the mirrored reaction, and then there's the cabbage and the pork and the umami white pepper. So good. And then freaking this soup dumpling, siu long bao. I hate this. I hate. I hate. I hate what this did to dim sum. This, this, this is not dim sum. This, the, put, I can't put it away. What? No to go back what this single-handedly i feel ruined dim sum see this is this is before before this became popular this was like an afterthought like like they, they'd have it but like no one would care for it it oftentimes it looks like it was just microwaved or like steamed in the steamer for like whatever just after people started hyping stoop dumb things man all the dim sum restaurants got hella expensive and like now you can you can tell that dim sum is expensive or like is overpriced if they specialize in soup dumplings. If like soup dumplings are plastered all over the wall, all over the menu, it's just you're just get you're just getting charged way too much money. Like this single handedly ruined dim sum, and now like all these other foods are completely like overshadowed by just everyone ordering stupid these differently colored like rainbow soup dumplings. And I I make this make a stop this this. Ruined the dim sum. This even ruined the freaking barbecue pork puff. And I hate this. How dare it? I go all the way. I don't know how to remove it, but this does not deserve to be dim sum. Soup dumplings ruined. <laughs> Soup dumplings ruined dim sum. Damn it. But that's my freaking rant. That's my, that's my tier list. Uh, maybe I'll screenshot it. But I probably, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate. Hey. If you have a different ranking, let me know. Did I miss any? I feel like I probably missed some. But then, like, I probably... I don't know. I probably missed some. Uh, some item here somewhere. But I think it's more or less all-inclusive. So, yeah. If you have any opinions. Also, so I definitely recommend trying... Maybe not the port... Like, the, the, the pop sticker. Don't, don't, don't bother trying that. But, like, everything else here, I definitely recommend. Um, like, honestly, even the foods down in DNF, it's just my personal preference. So, like it's there for a reason so if you do like it i definitely recommend just at least trying it once or twice and then um 
But I, but like these things, I feel like, oh, what, what did I move? This. <laughs> these things, definitely give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think about my tier list. Please try dim sum. I absolutely love it. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> Have a good day.